There is one word that has been most commonly used in our world in the last few weeks, a word that has superseded and overtaken in terms of use, overtaken the most common words that we use in English language, like please, like sorry, like thank you, like even yes, maybe. Um, this word, I tell you what, two months ago, some of us didn't even know that it existed, let alone knowing what it meant. But now we do, because it is the most common and most popular word in the dictionary. If it comes out as being assessed, it will be the most used word because it's used everywhere, it has the same meaning to everybody. And no, no, I'm not talking about coronavirus. I'm not even talking about COVID-19. I'm talking about lockdown. Lockdown now seems to be the word of the world. Everybody from A to Z, from Azerbaijan to Zimbabwe, talks about lockdown. It means the same thing to everybody, and we all use it. And why not? People are using lockdown as reasons and excuses, because it is the reality that we find ourselves in. You know, some people will say lockdown, rightly so, is the reason why they can't go to work. Some blame lockdown for not being able to go to the gym. Some blame lockdown for not being able to visit each other. And what's funny, some even will go as far as blaming lockdown for not being able to pick up the phone and check up on friends and family. Strange. But it is a sign of the times that we live in. We are in lockdown. The truth of the matter is that the world is actually in lockdown. You know, economies are crippled, businesses are dying, and human beings, individuals are struggling and screaming for survival because of this lockdown. And in the midst of it all, the numbers are still going up. In spite of the lockdown, Cases are still found, being found in every nook and cranny of the world. And for God's sake, people are still dying. People are really still dying. And that's the sad reality of it. And in the general perception, in the general analysis of things, when the figures are put together, they put together figures of people who are dying after having tested positive with coronavirus. And somewhere down there, Somewhere behind our minds, we forget about those people who actually, whose lives have been impacted adversely by coronavirus. People who will be losing their lives as well. Not by being positive to coronavirus, but by being victims of the lockdown. I was listening to the news the other day, and they were talking about cancer patients who couldn't, as a result of the lockdown, go out to their clinics to call to receive radiotherapy, chemotherapy and other treatments that they do get. There are many others like that. And of particular note today though, I refer to those with mental health issues. Mental health is a big problem. It is big enough as it is without the lockdown. And the lockdown has just made it worse. The lockdown has now ensured that they cannot go and receive the therapy that they need, existing cases I mean. They cannot go out and mingle with people of like minds so that at least they can feel better. And they cannot be visited because of this lockdown. People are at the, on the brink of suicide but they're not anymore. Why? Because, because of this lockdown and this COVID thing, they've lost their jobs. They've lost their means of livelihood. They've lost their self-esteem. They've lost their self-confidence. And they've descended down into this abyss. And mental health is becoming a big problem. So what can we do? 
we reach out to people with mental health issues where we can and we give them succor and we give them support those who can't let's just do what we can do stay home stay safe observe all the rules and protocols of social distancing and play our little part in making sure that we come out of this sooner rather than later. But to you with mental health issues, I call on you and I say, hang in there and be strong. Hang in there because I tell you something, I believe we're all in this together. I can't pretend to know exactly what you're feeling. I can't pretend to be in your shoes at the moment, but I do know that we are all very down at the minute. Because we are all going spare, because we are bored, because activity has been cut because of this lockdown. We can't go out, we can't go work, we can't go to the gym. Somebody like me, I'm suffering, I can't watch any football. So we're all together in this one and we can pull together and come out of it together stronger. I want you to do this for me today. Make a resolve, make a commitment to ensure that your body controls your mind and not the other way around. One of the mistakes that we have made, and I'm speaking from experience, is that some people tend to allow their minds to control their bodies. And I want you to reverse it. And yet you let your body control your mind. That's a good starting point. And I believe me, you'll all be okay. Hang in there. And I'm going to leave with this watchword. And that watchword is, you don't want to be a statistic when all this is over. You want to be a survivor. I have made a resolve to be a survivor, and so should you.